I find there's a huge problem in the real estate industry. And mostly what it is, is that real estate agents just sell, 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 and they have no plan for their retirement. And their only income stream is directly correlated to how hard they're willing to work. And this works for a lot of agents, maybe for the first five years of their career, but then they get burnt out and they don't know what they want to do next. They start falling out of love with the business that they really used to enjoy because all they're doing is work. Working and they try and go on vacations with their family, but their phone rings and it messes up your relationships and your life. And this thing that you were so excited about has now become something that you're not excited about. And I don't want anyone, especially the people that are a part of this BAM community, to fall into this trap. So what we're going to talk about today is the seven ways you can make money selling real estate, the seven income streams that every single real estate agent should be focusing on. Now, I went to a real estate conference once and I heard this and it totally changed my perspective. Somebody said they've been to a lot of real estate agents funerals, but never a retirement party. And that like shook me. And I was thinking like, okay, wow, okay, that's not the kind of business I'm trying to build here. I'm trying to build a business that at some point I can actually retire and enjoy a lot of time with my family and not just work and work and work. And listen, if you're the type of person that wants to sell a house on your deathbed, by all means, do your thing. But there's other ways that you can set yourself up for success. So let's talk about the seven ways you can make money as a real estate agent. Let's get the most obvious one out of the way first, which would be real estate sales, your personal real estate sales. But as we talked about before, this is directly correlated to how much time and effort you are willing to put in for what you're gonna get out of this. And your real estate sales career doesn't matter if you get sick or if you break your leg or something happens in your family and you have to take time off. It's only correlated to how much time you're willing to put in. And this style of just focusing on this works for a lot of people. But if you look at the people that have truly built like generational wealth as a real estate agent. It's not the people that are just selling, but it's the people that are building in the background. And that's what we're going to get into next. The second income stream as a real estate agent is income properties. Start buying real estate. It blows my mind how many real estate agents I talk to and the only property they own is their principal residence, the house that they've built their family in. But they're not continuously investing into the market. If you really break it down and you think about who knows as much as you know about your market and your area, nobody. You're on the ground level. You understand the numbers. Start investing in the market that you live in. Think about, you know, however long you've been doing this. And, and obviously markets are cycles, so they go up and down. But think about the positions that you've helped some of your clients get it by giving the best possible advice to invest into an area that's going to see growth over a period of time. And you want to look at population growth, which is immigration. You want to look at interest rates and you want to look at the unemployment level. Start doing that for yourself as well. If I really think about it, we don't have a pension in this industry. For me, my retirement is going to be my investment properties. I started investing early and it helped me build my way up. Now I own four properties and nine total doors because one of them is a multifamily property. Start investing in real estate. I cannot stress this enough. If you have not already, please, please do it now because this is how at the end of your career, you can sit back and relax and all these properties are going to be near the end of what their mortgages were at the beginning. You're going to own all these different assets where the other type of person is just selling this entire time and not focusing on building in their own wealth in the background. And at a certain point, that's not fun anymore. The third different way you can make money as a real estate agent is the stock market. I'm not telling you any financial advice in today's video. Um, I have someone that manages my money and I've done fairly well in it. But if you're just focused on one area like sales and investment properties, that's fine. But start investing your money into the stock market as well. But think long term. I find a lot of people in this business have a very, very short term mentality. So if you're going to invest your money into the stock market, think of it long term. This is future. This is money you're putting away and you're forgetting about. And then over time, it's going to build compound interest and put you in a very, very good position in the future. The real estate industry can be very lonely. If you're anything like me, you're experiencing that right now in your business. And it wasn't until I found a community that I really helped myself grow. So if you're looking to find a community where you can grow and actually, most importantly, sell more homes and build your brand, BAMX is the place to do it. Now, BAMX has the best live streams, has the best webinars, has the best community, has the best courses, got the best of everything in this industry. And you can get to be a part of it for a fraction of what it costs to be in other programs for legacy real estate companies. It's intentional that BAM costs less and we're bringing more value to the table than everybody else because we believe that legacy real estate media is broken and we're here to fix it. So if you want to join the fun, you want to join the community, I've got a code for you. 
Code STORY23, S-T-O-R-E-Y 23, will get you 10% off the annual subscription. Come join the fun. Come hang out. Come build a community of people that are looking to grow and expand their business. And most importantly, more than anything else, looking to sell more homes. I hope to see you on the inside. Number four is kind of a decisive one, but it is coaching and training. When you get to a point of your real estate career that you believe you can give back and you get more joy out of watching other people grow than just doing it yourself, this is something a lot of people consider. Now, I know there's a lot of people that sell one house and they think they're a real estate coach. That's not what I'm saying at all here. But I found for myself, at least in the training programs that we've done and the coaching, it does bring me pretty significant income every single year. It's gotten to the point that that is paying for my lifestyle and my real estate sales is paying for my future because I'm putting it into the stock market. I'm buying investment properties with it. And that's what I want to look at for coaching and training, building programs. We do boot camps. It's been a lot of fun. Now, you need to know what you're talking about. So it's going to take a while to get to this point in your career, but it's something to consider. Now, the fifth way to make money in this industry is with other great people. Fifth way is actually team members. You have the leverage of your time which is hiring an assistant, but then you have to find leverage how to make money when you're not physically in the room. And that's by hiring buyer specialists, leasing specialists, selling specialists, where you can just focus on being the rainmaker, finding opportunities, and then letting other people run with it. And obviously there's going to be splits involved. Maybe you're giving away 50% of the sale. Maybe it's 25% of the sale. Maybe it's 75% of the sale. It's different in every single market, but I can't tell you how great it feels to go to my team meetings on Tuesday mornings and find out that my team have sold properties to a bunch of clients that I gave them and I got to relax over the weekend with my friends and family and I wasn't running around at all times. So you're only going to find leverage if you find great people, but remember you cannot build an A team with B players. So you're going to have to find the right people to put in those positions. If you haven't already, I'd highly recommend a book called Traction, Getting a Grip on Your Business by Gino Wickman. A great, great book to run through all the programs to get to a point that you find that you have the right people in the right seats. Number six is speaking engagements. And this is very similar to the training and the coaching. This isn't something that's just going to happen overnight. You're going to have to build a successful career, show people you can actually do it before you get invited on panels and on stage. And when I first started doing speaking, I was doing it for free because it got me a lot of referrals from the rooms I was speaking to, to other real estate agents and markets outside mine. But now I have a speaking fee and I get paid to go to conferences and speak. And this is another income stream that's kind of helping my lifestyle, but not so much focused on my business. And number seven, did we save the best for last? I'm not really sure because I'm not sure how this is going to play out in the future is the downline. Listen, I'm not in that type of brokerage, but I know a lot of people that are and they've taken advantage of it. And if you have the training, if you're a good team leader, if you focus on selling homes and not just recruiting, you can probably build a really cool community. A lot of people already have. Now, I don't know what this is going to look like in 10 years, what these companies are going to be like, what the turnover rate is going to be, because if you join one of these companies, you got to stay with them to reap the benefits of the stock options and the downline. But it is something that you should at least look at and understand, and then you get to decide whether you like it or not. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name is Tom Story. I'm a creator here at BAM. If you have not already, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and join BAMX. In the description, there's going to be a code to get you into a part of the community that's going to show you so much of what is going on in the real estate industry. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.